it's been a while, but I'm back. Um, so today I bring to you a uh, new review. Actually, it's a uh, an exclusive. Am I right? Yes. High five to exclusive. So the beautiful lady next to me is actually a very close and dear friend of mine, Neela. She is the face behind my uh, my uploads. So if I ever piss her off and she cuts me off, mm -hmm. you guys will no longer see this face ever again. Because be I tragedy. Yes, because I don't know shit when yeah. it comes to technology. She's the tech geek. I'm not. I'm just a loudmouth, sarcastic, miserable transit guy. For that bitch. Yes. <laughs> bitch indeed. Yeah. Okay, so in all... <laughs> oh, wow. We're not getting to a good start here. <laughs> no. All right, so today we're going to... Let's just get this thing started. So today we're going to bring to you a review from the house of Michel Germain, and that is Sexual Secrets Blush. So uh, we were actually in Winners a few weeks ago shopping for me because mm -hmm. like clearly yes. I'm, yes, yeah. because I'm the high maintenance one out of us he's too. He's very la -di da He claims he's not, but he really is. Well, not today. I'm clearly no. grubby butt from wearing a hoodie. Daniel would not be impressed. No, Daniel would not be <laughs> impressed. No. Um, so we were in Winners, which is um, Marshall's up here, and she doesn't have a lot of fragrances. So we came across this one. It was a cheapie, so why the hell not spend a few bucks? Okay, so the main accords are sweet, musky, tropical, fruity, and citrus. Top notes are orange, red apple, and kiwi. The base is, sorry, the mid is iris and jasmine. The base is cotton candy and musk. Uh, cotton candy really comes out from the top, even though it's not a, a top note. I do get some orange, but you get mostly cotton candy. Right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, price, how much did you pay for this? 20 bucks. So $20? Yeah. Um, okay. Like, we've seen it at a few stores. Uh, it ranged, $20 was the normal price. I but think so, yeah. And he was uber shocked that I had no perfume, so I had to buy this one. Okay, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Put this on me. It was on you. Okay. He made me spend 20 bucks. It was okay. It was only 20 bucks. <laughs> She does better than I do, so whatever. Um, <laughs> Not the point. <laughs> okay. So um, no, it's okay. So price range, twenty bucks roughly, twenty five tops. Um, if you're interested in something like this, uh, fragrance net, fragrance X is not your place to go. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Winners, uh, you can get it cheaper than those two online retailers. So fifteen, twenty five dollars max. Uh, compliments, what did you get? Or did um, you get any? Yeah, okay, so I got one compliment from the coffee shop lady. Oh, okay, so the, the second couple. Yeah. Okay. She really liked it and she thought it could be for every day and not for evening. Um, she's an older lady, so maybe, I guess depending on your age range, your taste might be different. Okay. Um, but anybody our age didn't really like it. They liked it maybe at first when I sprayed it, but then after it lingered on, they didn't really care for it too much. They didn't like Okay. Um, longevity, how much? How long did it last? Um, so for today, for example, it was five hours, but other times it's lasted, I'd say anywhere between five to eight hours. There were a couple of times. So it's it pretty long. spotty. Yeah. So it's not a, like a full, it's not like a reliable eight to ten hours. No. Mm -mm. Okay, so that's pretty crappy since this is, uh, this is an EDP, mm -hmm. but it is a Michel Germain. Perfume, so quality is not exactly there. What's that? That explains everything. That explains everything. Uh -huh. um, what seasons do you think this could be used as? Um, that's a good question. I'm actually learning this stuff from you. Okay, um, but do you see it more in the summertime, wintertime, no, all year? I don't think in the summer because it's it's harsh on your nose. So to, so okay, so this the heat will bring out the sweetness even more. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maybe winter. Um, I wouldn't use it. In I, I know I've said before that maybe clubs, and I think they kind of like that thing in clubs. It, I wouldn't recommend using it for work or for school where you're around a lot of people or like a lecture hall. Okay, you know, so you would say this is pretty much a party sense. Yeah. Uh, lounge. It's meant for fun. It's not meant for... Okay, and, and, on, and on Fragnetica it says it's fun, flirty for the younger ladies. Yeah, it might be a distraction otherwise. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
So we got longevity, compliments, price, occasions. Would you recommend this? To, to someone younger, yes. But to someone your age? No. Okay. So this is no Serge Lutin, right? No, no, no. Mm -mm. So this is no Serge <laughs> Lutin? So for, found. We, we I found them, yes. <laughs> yep. What is this? Serge Lutin, Nuit de Cellophon. I was emptying my purse. <laughs> and Atelier Cologne, Beni Insensé. So I bought a little one of that. It's really nice. Well, maybe we'll do a first impression. There you go. There you go. But, sure. but today, the spotlight is on Michel Gellerman. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so you definitely wouldn't recommend this one. No. Mm -mm. Um, anything else you want to say about it? Just that um, it, it can kind of burn your nose. I know I said that already. But burn your nose, so it's a little strong, yeah. Yeah, don't wear too much of it. It will irritate me after a while. So this was your scent of the day? Yes, it was. It's my nut. Yeah. No. <laughs> no! You did three sprays. Oh, I need to scrub this Do off. Do you feel young? No, I don't. Well, okay, mentally, Do you I am. Young and flirty. I'm always flirty. Oh, well, but yeah, young, that's true. I'm I, I'm young at heart and mentally because mm. men don't fully mature as. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, no, this is getting older. I'm this is getting older. But anyways, okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, we just rambled on, mm -hmm. so uh, it was a bit of a comedic one, but. Also, we wanted to do something a little bit different with a perfume for my channel. Um, I will be coming back on March 1st. So today is mm -hmm. Valentine's Day, so it's February 14th. Uh, good scent for it, I guess, if you're younger. Um, so March 1st, I'll be coming back with my reviews. I will not be pumping them out like I used to. Definitely December was absolutely insane. I just flooded my uh, channel with, uh, with reviews and clips. But I'm going to be doing them every, let's say, two weeks or whenever I want to. I'm not going to be uh, burning myself out this time. A lot of... Is that a second cup coffee? It's going to get cold. <laughs> second cup. Yeah. This is our Starbucks up here, people. I love their coffee. It's, you, you it's need, a proper coffee. You need some stocks and shares in that. Maybe so. Okay, so... It's not that it's second cup coffee. It's the coffee is good. <laughs> It's no Tim Hortons, eh? <laughs> Alright, so I, a lot of my videos for the next little bit. So let's say, review-wise, I got a lot of first impression videos uh, that I'm going to be doing just because uh, my friend Sebastien up here, he gave me a bunch of niche samples. Like I got by Kili I got two Bikillians, I got three Amouages, I got a Serge Lutin. Um, not all of them have been worn. So, who's the princess, yeah? I am, I'm yeah. always the princess. Mm -hmm. Um, but I am also going to be doing some other different things with my channel. So, guys, that's pretty much it of the review. And I guess it's a little update. So, uh, Michel Germain, Sexual Secret, Blush. So, that's it? Yep. Later, folks. All right. Guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and laugh away. Okay? <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.